One part of Alabama tonight continued to clean up after two EF1 tornadoes touched down over the weekend. The National Weather Service said the tornadoes were short lived, but one had winds estimated at about 100 miles an hour, the other around 90 miles an hour. Those winds knocked down trees and power lines, uprooted trees that were just leaning over on the ground. The tornado tore off part of the Hampton Inn sign you can see there and left that hotel with no power. Many others left in the dark as well. And help is on the way to the storm victims in Tennessee. Tornadoes ripped through Tennessee, leaving six people dead. WTVA's Jake White he is joining us live with more. That's right. Many organizations are extremely excited to get up there and help those victims after that dangerous EF3 tornado that ripped through Tennessee. One of those organizations being Eight Days of Hope. Take a look. and we'll try to knock out as many jobs as we can. Just yesterday, tornadoes ripped through parts of Tennessee, leaving six dead, many injured, and as of this morning, 20,000 people without power. This morning, local organization Eight Days of Hope hit the road for Clarksville, Tennessee to do what they can to help. I spoke with the Rapid Response Director, Dustin Sullivan, to know more about what they want to accomplish in Clarksville. We'll wake up early in the morning, we'll have our devotion time, and we'll have breakfast together, and then we'll sit out, and we'll have two different teams, we'll go to two different houses, and then once we get finished with the house, we're cutting, chain, cutting trees with chainsaws, we're putting blue tarps on the roofs, but once we get finished with one job, then we go to the next, and we'll try to knock out as many jobs as we can. Dustin also tells me that this is a different kind of job that Eight Days of Hope is doing, expressing that they will not be asking for volunteers. That means that the heavy machinery that you see behind me right here is what they're going to be using most. It's different than our normal deployment. So we are, we're taking 14 experienced operators, equipment operators. We're taking heavy equipment. We're taking lifts, skid steers, mini skids, and lots of chainsaws. If you would like to donate to 8 Days of Hope, visit 8daysofhope.com.